Hello, I am Krishnamurti Pammi. In this video, I am going to revisit quality expert Philip Crosby's Four Absolutes of Quality. Around 1960, Philip Crosby came up with Four Absolutes of Quality. Even today, in my opinion, these Four Absolutes of Quality are still relevant if one wants to implement quality in any context or organization. The first absolute of quality is the definition of quality is conformance to requirements which are established by management. With 27 years of hands-on responsibility for quality in organizations, Crosby realized that everybody has their own definition of quality. This has resulted in inconsistent operations and wide swing in the output. It has impacted the organization's output and the belief of organization's output in customer eyes. So, this is where Crosby felt that we need to establish common understanding on quality definition. That means, today, if you go and cross-check the perspective of people on the ground about quality, we need to have a common understanding. Today, it is still missing. Even though Philip Crosby invented this first absolute around 1960s, even today, after 60 years, I feel that we are at to establish common understanding of quality definition. Philip Crosby's second absolute is quality is reached through prevention. Philip Crosby got educated in medical field and he used to working on preventing problems. This is where he feels that quality is caused through prevention. In early days, quality is more associated with quality control. So, the quality control is to find non-conformances as early as possible and correct them. He objected this idea and approach towards quality. He says that quality is caused through prevention. It is therefore necessary to understand the process and eliminate all opportunities to make errors so that we make things first time right. The third absolute of quality is quality has a performance standard of zero defects. As I said, in early days, quality was more related to quality controls. So, the standard in quality control is acceptable quality levels. That means, whatever output that comes, it should be within the acceptable standard levels. So, managers took this as a meaning that nothing could ever be correct all the time. So, the managers would negotiate acceptable levels with suppliers and other stakeholders. This is where Crosby felt that we should strive to do things first time right. The very idea of acceptable quality levels is not acceptable. He says, that the performance standard is zero defects. Even if we do not reach it, it is important that we as a team strive towards zero defects. This is where we together achieve things first time right. So, the performance standard is zero defects. The fourth absolute of quality is quality should be measured by the price of non conformance Everything managers do on the ground is financially based except for quality. When it comes to quality, managers measure the quality using indices and other means which require no action. This is where Crosby felt that quality should be measured by the price of non conformance That means when we count cost of repair, reprocessing customer service, overdue receivables and high inventory which are all part of non conformance it amounts to 25% or more of organization's revenue. So, if we continue to execute projects in this way, that means quality not being measured in financial terms, we cannot be competitive if we go in this way. So, Crosby strictly says that quality should be measured by the price of non conformance Philip Crosby has designed these four absolutes of quality around 1960s. Even after 60 years, even today, these four absolutes are quite relevant on the ground. We must 
take note of these four absolutes of quality before we proceed further to implement quality in any organization or context. I thank your interest to learn and I look forward to add more value add sessions in future. Thank you.